Hi there. In each of these short evaluation skills videos, we're taking a particular topic and a particular question and then focusing on how to build three key points using some analysis and then evaluate each point in turn. Evaluate as you go, it's really important and build, try and build some synopticity into your answers. Here's a question on carbon trading and carbon taxes. To what extent are tradable permits less effective than taxation in reducing CO2 emissions? So it's a classic question about the relative efficacy or effectiveness of an emissions trading scheme, such as used in the European Union, versus the classic polluter pays carbon tax. So we're looking to build three key points and then evaluate them. Keep in mind, of course, that uh, to support your key point, you probably use an analysis diagram along the way. First point, an increasing price of carbon permits, in theory, gives firms an incentive to invest in new technologies that lower carbon emissions. So, for example, the price of a permit might go up from 10 euros per tonne to, let's say, 30 euros per tonne. However, or but, if the carbon price is too low or too volatile from year to year, the risks from investment will be hard to justify to shareholders and fewer firms will commit to this. This is the argument that the emissions trading price in Europe has been has been really too low to, to nudge firms to change their behaviour. Our second key point. Carbon trading helps to cut emissions in the lowest cost way because each permit is worth more to the most carbon efficient businesses. So this is a suggestion that tradable permits are relatively effective. Every The most pollution efficient firms, they can get more output per tonne of CO2. So those permits will be worth more to them. But, counter argument, carbon trading actually raises less tax revenue than the carbon tax. Um, you could auction off the permits, but it doesn't raise as much money as a tax on carbon. And then build the argument, this revenue could be used to fund investment in renewables or finance improvements in human capital or there could be, for example, an offsetting, offsetting tax cut elsewhere. Our third key point. The UK government has used a carbon price floor to make the EU trading scheme more effective in cutting emissions. To go back to the question, saying actually one way to make it effective is to induce a price floor. Again, a classic opportunity there for a diagram. However, counter-argument, if you introduce a carbon price floor, that makes domestic businesses less competitive overseas whereas a carbon tax provides just as much certainty for businesses than a price floor introduced for a certain number of years. Do you see what we're doing here? Each, in, each, in each occasion, we're building a point and then we're evaluating. This is the real key to getting those high marks on the big 25 mark questions.